Are you thinking about retiring in the next five years? If so, you need to watch this video because retirement has changed. The stock market has changed. Social security is changing. How you get your retirement income is changing. We need to be aware that retirement is no longer a game. Retirement is no longer something that you can just walk into without any worries or cares. But retirement is a tactical, carefully planned out strategy to make sure that you don't run out of money, that your retirement income lasts your lifetime, that your long-term care, your health care, your assisted living needs are taken care of by someone other than the state that you live in. Retirement has changed and we need to change with it. And that's what we're going to talk about today on the Your Financial EKG YouTube channel. My name is Drew Blackston. I'm a certified retirement counselor, investment advisor representative, and I am your virtual financial advisor, helping you get to retirement, helping you get through retirement, and protecting your ability to stay in retirement. And that is what we're talking about today. Protecting your ability to stay in retirement, especially if you have five years or less before you retire, because there are practical steps, strategies, tactical things that you need to do today to make sure that your retirement assets, your retirement savings, your retirement income is going to get you from the day you retire until the day you go home. All right. So stay right there. And we're going to talk about that. All right, let's talk about it. Retiring in five years or less, what do you need to know if you're going to retire in five years, four years, three years, two years, or next year? What do you need to know? Well, the first thing you need to understand, especially if you're going into retirement in the next five years, is that market volatility is here to stay. Market volatility is not going anywhere. And what do I mean by market volatility? I mean fluctuations in the stock market. The Dow Jones being up six, seven, eight hundred points in a day. The Dow Jones being down six, seven, eight hundred points in a day. Volatility is going nowhere. And you have to be prepared for that when you go into retirement. When you're working and you're getting a paycheck every two weeks, who cares what the market's doing? If it's down, you wanna add money to it. If it's up, you wanna add money to it. But when you're in retirement and the only paycheck you get is social security and the money you take off your retirement investments, when the stock market's down one, two, three percent in a short time period, that's hurting. That makes you think about, maybe I should go back to work. That makes you think, did I do the right thing in retirement? And so you need to understand that market volatility is going to be here for the future. So what can you do? Well, the first thing you can do when it comes to market volatility is you can stay invested. And what do I mean by stay invested? Do not try to time the stock market. If you do that, you will lose. You need to stay invested. Over the last 15 years, the stock market's up like eight, nine hundred percent in overnight trading. And it's actually down about eight percent between the hours of 9.30 and 4 o'clock. So what that means is the people who stay invested are the ones who are making the money in the stock market, not trying to buy stocks at their lows or not trying to time the market, get in, get out. You need to stay invested. Do not chase the market, especially in retirement. You've got to change your mindset because it's not about making 15, 20% a year, especially in retirement. It's about making a reasonable rate of return and saying, okay, now that I'm in retirement, how much do I want to make every year? And what you can do rate of return wise is you can say, I'm happy if I make 6% every year. So my investments need to be situated for 6% every year. If I get 8 or 9%, in a year, that's great, but I want to make sure that I am invested for what rate of return I can. I want to expect in retirement. And you need to be practical when you come up with that rate of return. Don't say, oh, I want 12% a year. The market's only averaged 8% since 1957 with inflation. So you need to say, 
how much do I want to return on my investments? And then you need to situate your investments for that rate of return. Listen, if you play football and you are the place kicker, they're not going to put you at wide receiver to catch passes. If you're a wide receiver, normally they're not going to put you at guard to block 350 pound defensive tackles. Your investments are the same way. They need to be situated to perform the way that you want them to perform based on the rate of return that you are expecting. So the first thing that you need to think about before you go into retirement, especially if you're five years out or less, is understanding that market volatility is here to stay. All right, let me break in here real quick when we talk about market volatility and market fluctuations. Because when I meet with clients, I always ask them this question. How much money are you willing to lose in the stock market? And most people say, Drew, I don't want to lose anything. And I'll say, okay, you've got a million dollars in your IRA. If you lose $100,000, how would you feel? And they go, Drew, that would, that would be terrible. I would feel sick to my stomach. And I say, well, $100,000 on a million bucks is only 10%. And the market goes down 10% or more at least 100 times the last 100 years. And so if your risk tolerance is only 10%, you can't be trying to get 15 and 20% in the market. So you need to be asking yourself, how much money am I willing to lose? Put it in dollars and cents, and then you'll get your appropriate risk tolerance. All right, so the second thing I want you to be aware of when it comes to retiring in five years or less, really something I want you to think about when it comes to retiring in the next five, four, three, two, one years is you need to be thinking about Social Security. Now, you might say, oh, Drew, I see your videos. You talk about taking Social Security at 62 and only getting 70% of my benefit or taking Social Security at full retirement age and I'll get 100% of my benefit or waiting to 70 and I'll get 124% of my Social Security benefit. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the danger that is in Social Security, the danger that is lurking in your Social Security check. And that is a recent report said that Social Security by the year 2033 or 2034 could only pay out 75% of promised benefits. What's going on? Well, our trust fund for Social Security is being depleted. And by the year 2033 and 2034, we'll only have enough money coming in from workers to pay out 75% of benefits for those who are retired. Baby boomers, the biggest generation that we have seen in a long time, is retiring at a record clip. Throw on COVID, throw on forced retirements, throw on people not wanting to work digitally, just retiring because they're tired of dealing with it. And you're seeing retirees retire a lot sooner and claiming Social Security a lot sooner than expected. My average client, the average age of a client of Pearl Wealth Group, 55 years old. 15 years ago when I got started in this business, it was in the late 60s and 70s was the average client age. And so I'm seeing my retire, my clients retire earlier, which leads me to Social Security. Because if you read that report, and I know I'm going to get a ton of comments, they're going to say politicians aren't going to let this happen, it'll be a death sentence. If you look at the numbers, 2033, 2034, only 75% of promised benefits could be paid. Our national debt's at $30 trillion and growing. Our national debt with obligations is at $60 trillion and growing. So Social Security is something that, yes, you can probably bank on getting some form of payment in retirement, but you got to look at your retirement assets, your retirement savings, where your retirement income is going to come from because inflation's here. We see inflation. You know, healthcare costs are growing up. Food costs are going up. Does your retirement income cover all of your living expenses? Is your retirement assets going to be enough to sustain you to get to the end? You want to be aware of this. Now, 
I have put a free download in the comments section called The Roadmap to Retirement. Click that booklet. It is a free booklet on retirement income. But it's also the way you get in touch with me. You select the box that, yes, I want to visit with Drew, and we can go through a tactical, carefully planned out retirement income strategy for you to make sure that you are not going to run out of retirement income. All right. The third thing that you want to think about if you're going to retire in the next five years or four years or retiring in three years, or especially if you're going to retire next year, you want to pay attention to your portfolio. Pay attention to your retirement investments. Understand how you are invested. If you work with a financial advisor, understand how you are invested. Know your fees. Know your transaction costs. I get a lot of clients who come to me and they have variable annuities and I'll say, hey, do you understand that inside of this annuity you're paying two, two and a half, three percent in fees? And they'll say, I had no idea. And I'll say, yeah, 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 you need to understand. Because when you look at your portfolio, any leakage, any fee, any transaction cost, any loss of your money going somewhere else is lessening the amount of retirement income that you can collect. And you want to be aware of that. You also want to be aware of your risk. We talked about this in the volatility section at the beginning of the video. How much money do you want to lose? And you need to adjust your portfolio accordingly. And you also need to be rebalancing your portfolio. And if you don't know what rebalancing is, that means simply getting your risk tolerance back into balance every quarter. We do it every quarter. We rebalance our portfolios so that clients don't have too much risk, especially when the market is soaring. And so you want to be aware of what is going on inside of your retirement portfolio. And if you don't know, send it to me and I will tell you. All right. I thought it'd be appropriate to finish where we started. Listen, if you're retiring in five years or less, I hope this video has helped you understand your risk tolerance, helped you understand what kind of retirement income you need to be looking for, and helped you understand that maybe you need to take a deeper dive into your investment portfolio, your retirement savings to understand exactly what's going on, the fees, the cost, how am I invested to make sure that you're not going to run out of money when you get into retirement. All right.